guys, welcome back to the Wandoc Project 365, episode 721. I'm here with my man, Coach Go Green, right? And we're gonna be talking about some PVC mobility that he likes to do with his classes. Um, one of the things that, that I always like to, to note here is PVCs are still essential, right? A lot of times you, you hear like, oh, people talk about, oh, I can only get to the bottom of my squat once I, once I weighed it, once right? I weight. But that's not necessarily what we want to be thinking, right? We want to be able to earn that position with nothing, right? Weightless being All right. All right, so run us through it, run us through it. What are we talking here? All right, so we're just going to have to send the PVC, send like the barbell just to touch on what you said, as far as that, that weight load that normally allows us to get in this position. Having that PVC and really fighting to maintain that mobility in the upper torso while standing in front of the wall is a good tool for you to work on, again, that torso position and as, long, as well as maintaining that ankle mobility throughout your back squat. Right. So, of course, in the beginning, you maybe start about two feet away from the wall, and as that mobility improves and that torso position begins to improve, you start to get closer, forcing you to keep that upright torso right. throughout that entire squat. Getting your depth, focus on your knees, tracking your toes, heels staying flat and nice and tall. So the big thing here is it's an active position rather than a passive position where the weight turns you down, right? Exactly. And that actually teaches you how to turn on that core a little bit more because you got to stay tight. Really? If not, you're not going to be able to get down here and smash your face off the wall, right? Yeah. All right, but you had a couple more positions, right? So, so we, we can, can also apply this to the front squat. We're going to get into our front squat position. Not only are we working on our torso position in the front squat, but we're also working on our shoulder mobility. Right. Now we're having weightless really forcing you to dial into that shoulder mobility, trying to keep those elbows nice and high throughout that front squat while still forcing you to keep that chest up. Now I noticed that you went to uh, the corner of the wall. Why'd you do that? The reason I went to the corner of the wall is so you actually have to get that chest close to the wall and our elbows aren't creating that distance away from the wall. So now going to the corner allow us to get that chest a little bit closer, again, forcing you to stay a little bit more bright. Right, so if we started right here and our elbows were out like that, then we can still crunch down because we have all that space. Exactly. All right, awesome, awesome. Okay, and the final position. The final position, apply it as well as to our overhead squat. Again, we're weightless. We're still gonna try to keep that PVC right over the arch of that foot and that frontal plane, feet, boom. Is there, a, is there a rhythm or a time at which you have your athletes go down like, so you don't want them just falling down and jumping back yeah, up? so right? you can apply a tempo, a good tempo would be about three seconds down, even maybe a three second pause in the bottom once you really start to establish that position and do anywhere from five, 10, maybe 15 of those in your warm up. Great, awesome. Coach Go Green, yeah. thank you so much. It's so, so important that if, uh, that we understand that we can actually improve our squat, not by adding weight, but by taking exactly. off weight. And I think that's the take home message for today. Guys, I really hope this helps you out. And until tomorrow, we are optimizing function to optimize performance.